I'm going to drop some serious quant knowledge in this video. I'm going to cover the four most common ways that percentages are tested in the GRE. More than half of the percentage questions you see on the GRE will be covered by these four simple tricks. Trick number one, finding a percentage. If a question required you to work out which of the three amounts you can see on screen is the biggest, could you do that in 20 seconds or less? Pause the video and time yourself, if necessary, using your smartphone calculator if you don't have a desktop one handy. How long did you take? If you took more than about 25 seconds, you're losing precious seconds that you could be using on much harder questions. Every second counts in the GRE. So how do we speed up? To work out 21% of 240, what we don't do is divide 240 by 100 and times by 21. I see way too many students do that. And we don't use fractions either. So what do we do? We use decimals. 21% equals 0.21. So to find 21% of 240, we could do 0.21 times 240. But there's a way to save even more time. Don't bother with the zero at the front of 0.21. Simply do 240 times 0.21. Without the zero, 240 times 0.21. Saves an extra couple of seconds each time it comes up. So over the course of a test, you might save 30 seconds, which is useful. Also try practicing using the right hand side of a keyboard because you can actually type in the numbers and the calculations using the right hand side of the keyboard in the test. Some people find that really saves them time, other people hate it and, it and find that they don't save time with it. But try it out and see if you can save time by using the right hand side of the keyboard and the digits, multiplication, division symbols you see down there. Just to finish the example, to work out 22% of 220, for example, you could do 220 times 0.22 and get the answer. Hopefully you found that 21% of 240 is the biggest amount. You are now the master of finding a percentage super quickly. Trick number two, increasing by a percent. Could you increase 3,400 by 12% and then increase that answer by 15% all within about 20 seconds or so? If not, then you need this trick. Again, we're gonna use decimals, but to increase by 12%, we don't multiply by 0.12, because that would be finding 12%. To increase by 12%, we multiply by 1.12. That increases the number by 12%. Essentially, we're keeping the number and adding on 12% of it. That's why we times by 1.12. How would we increase by 15%? Can you guess? We multiply by 1.15. So if we wanted to do it all in one go, to increase 3,400 by 12%, and then by 15%, we would do 3,400 times 1.12 times 1.15. Just in case you wondered, you can't simplify that by joining the percentages 12 and 15 to get 27%. Percentages don't work like that. Hopefully you got 4,379.2 in a very short amount of time. If so, then you're on your way to becoming the Don of percentages. If you're loving the trick so far, please do like the video, comment down below on your favorite trick and do subscribe, of course. Trick number three, decreasing by a percentage. How do we decrease a number by 12%? This trick is a little bit harder because it relies on some mental maths. You need to be able to do 100 minus 12 to use this trick. Of course, you can use the trick by doing 100 minus 12 on the calculator, that would work as well. But if you know that 100 minus 12 is 88, then you can realize that finding 88% of a number is the same as reducing the number by 12%. So how would I reduce a number by 12%? I would multiply that number by 0.88 because that would find 88% of the number, which is a reduction of 12% of the original. If that made sense, can you decrease the number 15 
by 8%. Pause the video and try this, aiming for less than eight seconds. 100% minus 8% is 92%, so we would multiply 15 by 0.92. This gives us 13.8, which is the correct answer. We have decreased 15 by 8%. Now can you decrease 140 by 28%? Again, pause the video and try and get this done in less than eight seconds. 100 minus 28 is 72. So we do 140 times 0.72 and that gives us the right answer. Aren't these tricks absolutely amazing? I can't tell you how much time you will save and how much confidence you will build if you incorporate these tricks. Time for trick number four, finding the percent of. What is one number as a percent of another number. A slightly rarer question, but it came up in my test, so I want you to know how to do it. What is 400, for example, as a percentage of 450? How do we do it? We do the first amount divided by the second amount. In other words, the first amount that we say divided by the number that comes after the phrase percent of. For example, 400 as a percent of 450, you do 400 divided by 450. You can use the on-screen calculator. Once you get your answer, that will be a decimal, which you can then convert into a percentage by multiplying by 100. 400 divided by 450 is 0.88888 which if we times by 100 is 88.88%. Can you tell me 11 as a percentage of 13? Pause the video, try and get this in less than eight seconds. We would do 11 divided by 13, which is 0.846. Timesing that by 100 gives us 84.6%. The key to this trick is remembering to divide by the number that comes after the phrase percent of or percentage of. So those are the four tricks, but I want to give you one last question that you can attempt by pausing the video that encompasses virtually all of those four tricks. This would certainly be a harder question, so give yourself 30 to 45 seconds. Remember, my goal is to help you save time so that you have more time for other question types. Here are the year one revenues for two shops. Shop one's revenue is $14,000 that year, and shop two's revenue is $18,000. In year two, shop one's revenue increases by 14.5%, and in that same year, shop two's revenue decreases by 5%. For year two, shop two's revenue is what percentage of shop one's revenue? Good luck. For shop one, we do 14,000 times 1.145 to increase it by 14.5%. This gives us 16,030. For shop two, to decrease 18,000 by 5%, we do 100 minus five, which is 95, and then 18,000 times 0.95. This gives us 17,100. Now I ask for shop two's revenue as a percentage of shop one's revenue. So we do shop two's new revenue divided by shop one's new revenue. 17,100 divided by 16,030, which equals 1.06666, etc. which we can times by 100, of course, to turn it into a percentage, 106.666%. That was definitely a tough one, but I hope in general, you feel much more confident in tackling percentages because I can assure you these are the most common percentage questions on the GRE. And if you can be whip quick at getting these kind of questions right, you're gonna boost your score and you're gonna give yourself more time for different question types. Of course, this is not everything you need to know for percentages, that would be way too much for one video, but it covers most of what comes up on the GRE. If there are any other quant topics you want me to cover, please do comment down below. And thank you to Reek for suggesting this subject. As ever, liking, commenting, and subscribing helps promote the video to other people who might need it. So please do that and have a great day.